क्लाइमेट चेंज मेक्स चिल्ड्रन वॉलरेबल टू इन्फेक्शियस डिजीजेस डीप माइंड ए आई टैकल्स वन ऑफ केमिस्ट्रीज मोस्ट वैल्यूबल टेक्निक्स एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटल एम आर एन एच आई वी वैक्सीन सेफ शोज प्रोमिस इन एनिमल्स आई निधि कुमार इन योर वॉचिंग साइंस टाइम अ शो दैट ब्रिंग्स टू द बेस्ट दैट साइंस ऑफर्स फ्रॉम एक्साइटिंग डिवेलपमेंट्स इन साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू फ्यूचरिस्टिक सोल्यूशंस लेट्स मूव ऑन टू स्टोरी नंबर वन and scientists have found that climate parameters accounted for 9 to 18% of the total infectious disease cases in a study to probe the association between climate parameters and infectious diseases in children under 16 years of age in Varanasi city in central Indo-Gangetic plain climate change driven by anthropogenic activities may challenge the gains in public health over the past many years particularly in a country like india that ranks high in the list of climate vulnerable countries in the world globally it is estimated that children are to bear most of the burden of disease due to climate change with the poorest disproportionately affected the higher risk associated with children is due to the physiological vulnerability as well as the risk of exposure a study was undertaken for the first time over the central indo-gangetic plain region dst mahamana center of excellence in climate change research bhu explored the association between climate parameters and infectious diseases in a 3 year follow up prospective cohort of 461 children under 16 years of age in varanasi city the research led by rk mall including nidhi singh T Banerjee and Akhilesh Gupta have been recently published in a reputed international journal Science of Total Environment accounting for extensive socio-economic household data and child anthropometric measurements the researchers established that climate parameters like temperature humidity rainfall solar radiation and wind speed were significantly associated with infectious diseases gastrointestinal diseases respiratory diseases vector borne diseases and skin diseases in children in varanasi maximum temperature and humidity absolute and relative are important climate drivers this study further added that climate parameters accounted for 9 to 18% of the total infectious diseases cases while non climate parameters account for the rest upper respiratory tract infection mostly cold and flu and gastro intestinal infections mainly diarrhea constitute 78% of the disease burden socio economic conditions and child anthropometry modified the climate disease association with a high proportion of children found suffering from stunting wasting and underweight conditions findings from the study draw the attention of government and policy makers to prioritize effective measures for child health as the present association may increase disease burden in future under climate change scenarios in an already malnourished pediatric population through multiple pathways the study further inspires and provides a background for epidemiological studies to provide evidence for future burden of diseases associated with childhood malady however climate change related health impacts studies particularly for children in india we are at an early stage any attempt to provide the epidemiological evidence association of pediatric health with climate parameters over the poorly investigated region of india will help the policy makers and the government to avert the risk that may arise due to climate change and with that let's move on to story number 2 Well a team led by scientists at the London based artificial intelligence company DeepMind has developed a machine learning model that suggests a molecule's characteristics by predicting the distribution of electrons within it and the approach described in the 10th December issue of Science can calculate the properties of some molecules more accurately than existing techniques in principle the structure of materials and molecules is entirely determined by quantum mechanics and specifically by the seherodinger equation which governs the behavior of electron wave functions these are the mathematical gadgets that describe the probability of finding a particular electron at a particular position in space but because of all the electrons interacting with one another 
calculating the structure or molecular orbitals from such first principles is a computational nightmare and can be done only for the simplest of molecules such as benzene. To get around this problem, researchers from pharmacologists to battery engineers whose work relies on discovering or developing new molecules have for decades relied on a set of techniques called density functional theory to predict molecules physical properties. The theory does not attempt to model individual electrons, but instead aims to calculate the overall distribution of the electron's negative electric charge across the molecule. The DeepMind team has made probably the most ambitious attempt yet to deploy AI to calculate electron density, the end result of the DFT calculations. One advantage of machine learning is that although it takes a massive amount of computing power to train the models, that process needs to be done only once. Individual predictions can then be done on a regular laptop, vastly reducing their cost and carbon footprint compared with having to perform the calculations from scratch every time. And with that, let us take you to story number 3. And despite nearly four decades of effort by the global research community, an effective vaccine to prevent HIV remains an elusive goal. An experimental HIV vaccine based on mRNA, the same platform technology used in two highly effective COVID-19 vaccines, shows promise in mice and non-human primates, according to scientists at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, part of the National Institute of Health. Their results published in Nature Medicine show that the novel vaccine was safe and prompted desired antibody and cellular immune responses against an HIV-like virus. Rhesus Macquiz, receiving a priming vaccine followed by multiple booster inoculations had a 79% lower pre-exposure risk of infection by simian human immunodeficiency virus compared to unvaccinated animals. And with this friends, this is a wrap on this edition of Science Time. We will be back with more interesting stories from the world of science next week. Until then, stay tuned to India Science. Namaskar. Thank you for watching.